hi welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abeke in case you're just joining for the first time and i want to say thank you so very much for the love of my previous post and my brother is saying thank you to really appreciate your love so today's look i will be creating a very simple makeup look so i'm going to show you the product i'll be using the tools i'll be using as well So this is basically my brush set and these are the ones I'll be using to film this video but I might end up not using everything. I have my this brush I specifically like to use it for um, contour, my cheek contour. I really like this. Then this is my total face powder brush. I like to use this to swipe all over my face and my neck. Then also this is just one of my best brush sets with technique my flat brush my sometimes i use this to apply setting powder for my highlight and then i have a couple of clean brushes here so i'm using this but i'm very sure i don't need most of them but i just like to have them in case i need any one of them but um, brushes and this is an angle brush i use it for my blush and then this i love to use to apply my highlight on my cheekbone then this is my foundation brush and then i have another contour brush that i basically use for my nose i use it to contour my nose very precise and here are some of the pencils i'll be using um i can't remember the name of this pencil but i love to use it to apply my lip liner um then this is a black pencil then this is my zaron eyebrow pencil perfect i love that pencil this is the jumbo nyx pencil i use it as my eyeshadow primer and then that's basically it for my brushes the mac foundation in um love to mix these two foundations together this is my maybelline super stay got broken so i had to um pour it here i think it's in 365 i really can't remember the shade but it's a bit darker than my skin tone but this is too warmer than my skin tone so I mix this two to just balance it up and then for prepping my skin i love to use the cetaphil primer sometimes i use the embrelisi primer then i use um this bm pro magic seal as uh, my primer so i don't know i might end up using either this or the becca primer but really i just love this becca primer for my brows i i love to use it for my brows and my skin i don't know why that's what i use it mostly for i use this for my face and then i'll mix this glow with my foundation i prefer to use it that way than to apply it on my skin first concealer i used to highlight i will not be contouring because it's a very simple look and um, this is my mac powder my mac highlighter i love to use it when i want to achieve a very simple look it's in cheeky bronze i really love it and this is the setting powder i'll be using the beauty by ad in tony and that'll be all. Then when I'm done, I'll use my Nuban Beauty Silk Spray, Lady V Beauty Planet Powder Palette. I love the variety of shades here, but I simply just will be using this to contour my cheek. There's a shade in here. It's a little bit lighter than this, a little bit darker than this. That's my perfect contour shade, but it got broken, so I mix this to to contour my cheek. And I love the fact that some of the powders have um, bronzers in them. So most times I just use them to highlight my brow bone rather than using the highlighter, which might be too harsh for me sometimes to blend out. So I have um, my lashes here. I got this one from AliExpress. If you follow me on Instagram, like my makeup page on Instagram, I love shopping my lashes from AliExpress. And this is a perfect one for the natural, simple look rather that I'm trying to achieve. Then I deposited some of my lipstick so that it will be easy for me to use. Um, there are different brands in here Milani, Mark, um, Classic. I have that there. Then I have my lip gloss gleam lip gloss and this is zaron lip uh, stain i think it's matte milani brow tint i love to apply it on top of my brow pencil makeup academy mas mascara i really love that 
this is what i use for my lashes it's a liquid liner it has no name because i shopped for it at yaba oh it has name more any beauty beauty blend i got this one from sf beauty makeover on instagram this eyeshadow i'll be using my juvia place eyeshadow to achieve my simple look blushed neutrals 26 color eyeshadow palette i love this blush tones most times when i want to mix it i mix either these two or i mix this and then this this last one together this is what i use to mix my foundations together with my um highlighter so that's that about the tools i'll be using today let's get back to the video first off i will be moisturizing my face because we want our face to stay hydrated even when you're not wearing makeup at all you need to moisturize your whole face now that i'm done with the moisturizer i like to go in with my becca primer on my brows to prevent it from shifting makes it last longer and easier for me to apply my brow pencil and while i'm at it i try to brush the air upward with my brow brush then i apply it again i'm gonna go in with the bm pro magic seal all over my face as a primer next is to apply my foundation and i already mixed it i mixed the two foundation with the nuban beauty the glow highlighter and i'm going to apply that all over my face I like to always use my beauty blender to make it sink into my skin flawlessly after I'm done applying with my brush. Now that I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to go in with my Nuban Beauty Concealer. I try avoiding applying the concealer right under my eye. So by the time I decide to blend, it spreads out. If I apply the concealer directly under the eye and I want to blend, that means I'll be putting too much of product under the eye. To balance the whole thing up, I could just highlight a bit of my forehead and then my chin. Just this way and this way. I love to use my compact powder as a base first on my concealer before I now go in with a setting powder. Just this way. <laughs> uh oh. So I'll make sure I blend out as soon as I've applied. So now I'm going to dust this all off with my compact powder. So now I'm just going to contour using my contour palette. I'm not going to use any concealer because I'm trying to achieve a very simple look. So I'm contouring my forehead and my cheek. Since I'm, I'm not using a concealer to contour, I'll just simply use this shade of powder to contour my nose and then blend it into the highlight i previously applied on my eye watch me do this so after my brow pencil I will just slightly use the brow tint to brush my brow hair f upward this way. Now I'm just going to use my concealer, the same I used to highlight my face, to just simply define my brows this way. 
starting from like 70% away from the front part of my brows. Simply just going to blend the concealer that I used in highlighting my brows. And I always say one thing about makeup is blending. If you can blend very well, your makeup is going to be very flawless. So for the front part of my brows, I'm going to be using the same shade of foundation that I used for my whole face. So I'm just going to do that right here to just give it a very natural look. So I blend. So I noticed that the amount of concealer I've applied here is way more than the one I applied here. So I'm just simply going to use my foundation, same shade, and try to blend it all out so it balances with this other side. We don't even need to define the upper part of our brows. Like, it's looking neat already. And it's because I try to trace the, the line of my brows. Now I'll go to my eyeshadow. Eyeshadow primer on my eye this way so i'm just going to blend it with this brush this brush was not like this from birth this brush it just ended up like this due to washing and usage but now i either like to use it to blend my eyeshadow primer or i used to apply my lipstick i'm going to use um the shade fulani from my juvia's place juvia's place palette eyeshadow palette to contour the eye this way and try to avoid it spilling over into your highlight a little bit of ada from the same shadow palette and i'm going to just to give me a little bit of um, color now i'm done with the contouring the transition color i should say i'm going to go in with um, that hair is a bit shiny it's not matte so i'm just going to apply it right here all the way into my tear duct and then i'll blend it in with other colors So now I'm just going to go in with Burkina from the same palette on the top of um, the, the hair. Just to tone it down a bit, I'm going to go in this way. The Burkina is more like a brown tone. So it's a bit darker than the Daria, but it's matte shade. How does it look? Good. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this. So now I'm going to blend my highlights with this shade of powder from my powder palette. So now I'll be applying this liner gently on oh my... I know a lot of people usually have struggles with this liner, but with time, it get easy. And because it's a simple look, I am not going to have any dramatic liner like sharp edge so i just leave it as short as this so it will be easier for you to recreate going to a straight line you just make this part a bit thicker than the front part I need to go in with my lashes and this is the first time i'll be recording my lash application on youtube because it takes a longer time So I just place it directly in the middle. Then I take this. Ooh -ooh. Yeah, to the front. This to the back. Going with my liner, my black liner. And I'll apply my mascara afterwards.
I love to do this trick because it helps to close any visible space between my lashes and the falsies. So it makes it look very natural. After that, I'm just going to simply use a brown eyeshadow. That's um, Fulani from the same eyeshadow palette for my under eye. Just to give me a little bit of smoky effect. I'm going to use the mascara for my under eye. But before you apply mascara on the under eye, make sure you do your mouth like this. Or else you won't get it. So you do. And then go. You see? If you like your line, you not get it too. Just do that. See? And if you want to get a very full lash, just try to add like three or four coats of mascara. So I just want a little bit of glow in my tear duct and I'll just go in this from the same palette though. So now I'm applying my highlighter on just my cheekbone over here and then I brush it out. Just go in. Apply this lace and then my forehead and I'll just use my finger to apply a tiny little bit on my nose and this way. Then I press my brush this way to blend it. I make sure I apply the blush in between the highlighter and then my contour. That's how I like to do it. So that when I say I just blushed, you know that I really mean it, I blushed. Like, yeah. After that, I'm just going to spray my face, then I go to the lips. Most times I love to use this, my creamy lipstick as a base, like a lipstick primer, before applying my matte lipstick. It's matte. So now I'm going to go in with my Beauty by AD Lip Gloss. I'm going to define this part with my foundation because it's a bit glossy. I'm not going to use concealer so it will be easy for you to blend. So this is the finished look and I hope you really like it. So that's all about it look i decided to create for you today it's a simple look and i hope you really like it so i want you to leave for me some comments in the section below what you think about this look and if you'll be trying out any of these things i've used if you're going to try out the technique to achieve this very simple look you can tag me on my instagram i'm going to put my handle in the description box below in case you want me to show you how i tie this beautiful top band on my head just drop your comments tell me you want me to and i'm going to do a video right after i post this make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't and if you know you're just watching my video for the first time please i beg you subscribe to my channel thanks for watching Bye.